The start of a new season is always exciting, full of possibilities and potential. Months of dedicated work can now be put to the test. It's a new opportunity for some and the final go-round for others to leave their mark on the Penn State basketball program and for the program to leave its mark on them. Let's go, let's go. One, two, three, four. He's excited. Hopefully I don't channel this energy, play and use it, you know? So I don't go out there and make some super fresh mistakes or anything like that, you know? Just try to channel this energy and get it going. Stay tuned. You know, you gotta know as a freshman, you got a tendency, you know, to be a little overexcited, you know? Just make sure you call, play your game, everything will be fine. There's a blend of experience and youthful enthusiasm, sometimes within the same family, all within the Penn State basketball family. We've been playing this game for I don't know how many years, pretty much our whole lives. It's no different today. Fourth and final one, you know, I gotta go out 4-0. We haven't lost in the opening night here, so uh, time to go out and get another W. Tipped up and in by Jeff Brooks. Oliver straight on three, good. Cuts to the bucket. Lays it up, rolls off, no good. Tipped up and in by Andrew Jones. Good, everybody's pretty loose. We've been excited for this game, so we've been looking forward, put it on the map, ready to go. The last first game for me, so I mean, I gotta make it count. Spots up for three at the buzzer, got it! Exactly what the doctor ordered at the wire. You no, know, found out where we were a little bit, playing somebody else. So we're very excited, ready to come out from our home crowd. This is why the Nittany Lions worked so hard in the offseason. The games are their reward for the sweat. The chance to perform well in front of their faithful fans on the Big Ten stage of the Bryce Jordan Center. Game two brought a visit from St. Joe's and it was evident early that this Penn State team was prepared. They were especially strong defensively and on the glass. Coach Ed DeCellis used all of his weapons with 11 guys getting playing time and eight of the 11 getting on the score sheet. The winning would continue against Central Connecticut State. Jeff Brooks set a career high in scoring with a perfect shooting performance. But a lot of guys stepped up to make Penn State 4-0. And after a road loss at Old Miss, they rebounded quickly. Welcome, everyone. The Bryce Jordan Center is alive on a Sunday afternoon. The Furman Paladins making their first trip to Penn State to take on the Nittany Lions. It's a battle of two teams with just one loss on the year. Furman 3-1, Penn State 4-1. Wide open look, shot is good. Open look. He's been doing that for four years. Taylor Battle rips the triple. Taylor Battle has been a Big Ten leader in many categories throughout his Penn State career. And in his final season in blue and white, he is surrounded by other playmakers anxious to show their own talents, eager for success and to achieve a postseason berth. Some are seniors like David Jackson and Andrew Jones. Others are a little less experienced, but just as fun to watch. Rip away. Frazier. Doesn't have numbers. Oh. Doesn't make a difference. Oh. Beautiful move. Oh. A little in and out right there by Frazier. Faking like he's going left, coming back right, and getting the layup. And again, a turnover and points off a turnover, getting those easy baskets. Battle thought about it from 25 feet. Instead, leaves it for David Jackson. Great ball move by Penn State. Taylor Battle collapsing the defense, and David Jackson in position. The character of Ed DeCellis has permeated this program since he became head coach. He led the Lions to their first NIT championship and in this game picked up his 100th Penn State win. He's all about trust, heart, effort, and most of all, family. And this year that extends beyond the basketball family with Taylor Battle playing beside his highly recruited brother. Teron Bowie. Brother to brother, Battle finds Bowie for three. It will be a fun year to watch Battle finish his Penn State career while his brother, Teron Bowie, gets his started. The rest of the Big Ten will take notice, and the conference, as usual, is packed with great teams that will be visiting the Jordan Center. Five Big Ten teams are ranked in this week's polls, with two others getting votes. Bowie, his second three-pointer in the second half. Penn State beat Furman to improve to 5-1, and one. a good start with work yet to be done and a tough conference schedule awaiting. Battle uses that treble, gets inside, and curls in the layup. Shot locked out of five, and an open look! Someone forgot about Andrew Jones! Coming up on two and a half minutes to play, and another steal. Battle! How do you do? And Penn State, they're going to improve to 5-1 and one on the year, 
And with that win, Ed DeCellis, a 1982 alum of Penn State, now has 100 career victories as the head coach of the Nittany Lions. Penn State fans like what they've seen so far and were excited to look ahead to see how their Nittany Lions would do in the Big Ten ACC Challenge against Maryland.